morning everyone, so Leah here. I am so excited to share my 2017 skincare favorites and 2017 was indeed a year of skincare. For me personally, it was a year that I finally cleared up my really stubborn acne that I had for probably four to five years that wasn't curable after so many derm visits and also benzoyl peroxide and whatnot, but it was a year of really respecting my skin and tuning into my skin. And also it was a year that I formulated my own products, so I think it was just generally a really, really good product year in terms of skincare. I'm going to film a separate video for makeup favorites as well so keep an eye out for that but today we are going to talk about skincare. This is an amazing cleansing oil that I highly recommend for oily acne prone skin or just anyone in general who's looking for lighter weight cleansing oil that just removes your makeup in one go that doesn't require like too much tugging or rubbing on your skin. It has really simple ingredient list and jojoba seed oil is the main ingredient for dissolving your makeup and also emulsifies beautifully. It just doesn't leave that kind of greasy film on top after cleansing your skin. This is a product that a lot of my Korean friends really really love, especially those who have really stubborn back they've been seeing really good results with using this. Moving on to cleanser, this is the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser from Crave Beauty. Now, I know I'm a little bit biased, however, I wouldn't be releasing anything that I'm not proud of. I've been using this every single day, seriously. It's a gel consistency that gives you a really good hydration after removing your makeup and sunscreen and everything. Just leaves your skin really bouncy and healthy. Before making this cleanser, I never really expected a cleanser to be this pleasant and also I never thought I would really look forward to cleansing by the end of the day, but this is something that I really want to put my face into the formulation and let it swim to be honest and we've been getting really really good reviews on our website so definitely check it out to see what other people have to say about our cleansers now this is not a surprise to a lot of you guys i've been using this for over five years i think primera miracle seed essence it's loaded with antioxidant power from lotus seed extract and it has niacinamide as well and it is fragrance free it's really really gentle i adore this because it just really brightens up my complexion and just evens the tone and everything my skin looks a lot healthier with this ever since i skipped my morning cleansing i don't even use water to cleanse i just use this and saturate a cotton pad swipe it all over my skin my skin is just really like well prepped, hydrated, and good to go with other skincare products. Now, 2017 was definitely a year of propolis and honey, and like everything honeybee related for me. Dear honeybee, if you're watching this, I just really admire your hard work and thank you so much for providing us humans like your nutritive substance, and I think you're really, really amazing. The two propolis products that have been in my routine forever are the Cosarex Propolis Light Ampule and the Royal Honey Propolis Enrich Essence from Skin Food. Now, ever since I discovered the Skin Food product, I haven't been using this, the Cosarex one, at all because it is more more nourishing and more hydrating it just seals every hydration really really well and it has been just saving my skin during the winter time however if you do have oilier skin this might be more lighter weight to you guys I just prefer the skin food one because you get more for the price that you pay and it just feels way more nutritive to my skin because it has fermented propolis extract as well as another fermented ingredient and I think my skin does really well with its fermented ingredients Crave Beauty, Kayla Luya, and I gotta thank this for really clearing up my congestion, whiteheads, and all the little acne-like breakouts that's caused by clogged pores. I have been using this for about 13 months. I really gotta say this is the most skin transforming product that I've ever used. I love it so much and that's why I was pretty confident to release this as one of my first products. And it is 5.25% glycolic acid AHA treatment, which means it's going to be a treatment that kind of unglues the dead skin cell bonds. It kind of revives your skin into a more glowy and radiant um, state and it has all the antioxidants and also the hydrating ingredients that fills in and replenish all the hydration while exfoliating and resurfacing the skin. Highly recommend this. So if this was a glycolic acid solution, I have a lactic acid solution that I really really love this year. This is the Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. It is a 5% lactic acid all-in-one treatment. It's more like a lotion type that you leave it on overnight and it's it just really beautifully exfoliates your skin. I do feel like this is one of the most like gentle and also most effective lactic acid treatments out there. I think a lot of people compare this to the TLC serum from 
Drunk Elephant. That one has like glycolic acid, lactic acid, citric acid, 12% formula. This is 5% lactic acid only. However, even though that has higher concentration, this to me like worked way better and it just feels like way more gentle and it does visibly like plump up your skin. Niacinamide 10%, zinc 1% formula from The Ordinary. I think I've used this so much like in the beginning of this year when I still had like really oily acne prone skin. If you're kind of secreting that really, really great greasy sebum definitely give this a try it is wonderful at regulating your sebum production and also it kind of helps clarifying your skin a lot more i definitely benefited from this but now that my skin is back in balance i don't use this anymore because it can be a little bit drying this is my third bottle from Skin Ink. This is the Pure Serum Mist infused with hyaluronic acid and Japanese onsen water. I adore this so much. A lot of times using mist can be really counterproductive. It can take away the water and the hydration that you even had. There are definitely oil infused mists which can be a little bit better in terms of sealing in the hydration. However, since I don't have dry skin, those kind of oily mist can be a little bit suffocating and kind of stuffy. So this is the only mist that I can use and I really really enjoy using. I put this on my office desk and whenever I feel like I'm stressed and I just feel like I need that kind of instant boost of hydration this is something that I spritz all over my skin I have two moisturizers that I fell in love with and the first one being the Amore Pacific Essential Cream Fluid it is like one of the most gorgeous and beautiful moisturizers that I've ever tried and I think I especially have more affection towards this product just because I fell in love with the formulator who formulated this product. I did an interview with her and interview with more Pacific team. You guys have to watch that video to find out the science and everything that went behind this little bottle. Whenever I use like a lightweight moisturizer, it just disappears like it just evaporates to the air like so quickly but this product did an amazing job in formulating in a really lightweight consistency that is really rich so you will never feel dehydrated with using this lightweight formula and also it encapsulated the antioxidants in it i feel like whenever i use this i'm kind of doing a really good thing to my skin second moisturizer is the primera soothing sensitive cream it has ceramides cholesterol and also free fatty acids but it is not greasy which i really really appreciate so much. It is a silicone free formula which means that it can be a little bit kind of suffocating so it's not like the most cosmetically elegant product but if you're looking for something that's really soothing and that calms down your skin and also that's well moisturizing this is definitely something that you can look into. 2017 was definitely a year of me discovering the world of facial oil and I never looked back because it is that good and it really changed my skin to the better. I definitely experimented with a lot of oils that are generally higher in linoleic acid more than oleic acid which means it's more appropriate for oily acne prone skin because it's more lighter weight. So the oils that my skin really really loved are rosehip oil, hemp seed oil, and tamano oil. Tamano oil really really helped in diminishing all the pigmented spots and it just gave me like the most radiant and clear complexion ever and I'll link all the products that I use down below but ever since I got this oil blend which is the Alchemy Cinco Facial Oil which is founded and created by one of the most like kindest and also most intelligent women on Instagram that I know whose name is Natalie it's a blend of red raspberry seed oil, cranberry seed oil, watermelon seed oil, blueberry seed oil, black cumin seed oil, pomegranate seed oil, and tamanu oil which I so adore and it also has rosehip seed oil as well however whenever i do aha exfoliation especially using kayla Luya, i always like compensating my moisture barrier with using facial oil or any kind of omega retch formulation i wake up with like the most glowing and the clearest and the most radiant complexion ever and i just love my skin so much that day oh like so stunned by it so i definitely recommend this combination Sunscreen of the year without a surprise. It's Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. I love the kind of specific number. It just gets me like the nerdy side of me. It's a hybrid sunscreen, which means it uses both chemical and also physical UV filter. It has octane oxide as well as zinc oxide, and it uses micronized zinc oxide, which means that it's not going to leave you that white cast. And I think I use probably four bottles of it. I use both untinted and tinted version of it. And I think a lot of you guys had issue with this sunscreen 
balling up like underneath makeup but in terms of that the tinted version is way better and you don't really need to worry about the tintedness because it doesn't give you any color at all this also contains niacinamide as well so it's like an added bonus and this is probably the only sunscreen that made me look forward to applying sunscreen 2017 was also a year of Sika creams. There were so many Sika products out there from like Korean brands and also French pharmacy brands. And I think if you do have acne prone skin, especially if you have like kind of open wounds, Sika creams can generally promote the wound healing ability of your skin. Now, like I said, I didn't really struggle with acne this year, which means that I didn't really need this product. So therefore I didn't use a ton. However, I still wanted to include these two because these are really, really good finds. This is the Etude House Sunjong Pantin Suicide Sika Bomb. It has 5% panthenol and madocasicide complex. Panthenol is a skin barrier restoring ingredient that's derived from vitamin B5. Madocasicide is the active compound of Centella Asiatica extract. The second product is Innisfree Sika Intensive Bomb. It also has retinol, like a little bit of retinol in it. Moving on to the mask category, the very first one whoo, <laughs> is the Sunday Riley Saturn Mask. It is the sulfur acne treatment mask. It has 10% sulfur, which is supposed to be a really, really great ingredient in diminishing and also managing your breakouts. And it has 4% of niacinamide. It also has zinc PCA, betonite clay to kind of absorb your oiliness and sebum. But I really, really love this because it's not only effective on the zits and the active breakouts, but it also isn't drying at all. It also has tea tree oil in it so I think a lot of you guys would find this really really effective. Hello Laneige! This is the water sleeping mask I've been enjoying the past year. It really just saved my skin during summertime where it can be a little bit hot and it kind of promotes the transepidermal water loss. This definitely keeps everything in protection and it just doesn't let your hydration run away from your skin. I adore this so much. It really worked well. Another sleeping mask is the lip sleeping mask from Laneige. It comes in a really cute tiny little pink tub. This is the product that I feel like I didn't know I needed until I tried it. It made my lips so smooth and baby soft. A non-skincare but skincare product that I've been absolutely enjoying the past year is my Silk Pillowcase from Slip. Instantly as I tried it, I couldn't believe I haven't used this till now. It enhances your sleep quality and also it really protects your delicate skin. Using a cotton pillowcase can actually draw out moisture from your skin and it can over tug and leave creases which can result in premature aging and all that. Apparently Silk Pillowcases are way more hygienic and I have been loving it. I've seen the benefits of it. I never wake up with the sleep crease that I used to wake up with. Moving on to hair and body favorites because they really deserve more love. L'Oreal El Sev El Sieve El Sev Extraordinary Oil in Botanical Edition. It has French lavender oil with sweet orange rind. It smells so divine and I am not a fragrance or perfume person. If they make a perfume for this, I would definitely buy this. I use this on a damp hair. It really detangles my hair and also it kind of protects my split ends. And I style my hair every single day, which means that I'm also damaging my hair every single day but considering the amount of heat styling that I do I think my hair is in a rather healthier side and I gotta thank this for that. Oldie but a goodie the Avino daily moisturizing lotion is amazing body lotion that I cannot trade with anything else. It's like so good. Collodial oatmeal is definitely beneficial for really dry and parched and also who has mild eczema. So definitely this can help out. It has petroleum jelly, which a lot of people don't like, but I think it really protects my skin well. As long as I can remember, I think I used it for over a decade. I hope you guys enjoyed my 2017 skincare, hair, and body favorites. On a side note, I am going to give this away and also the moisturizer from Primera to one lucky winner on my Instagram. So go head over my Instagram at about Leah Yu. I just find it easier to announce the winner and contact the winner over there. Definitely share your 2017 skincare favorites down below. I would love to know. I'm going to list all the product info down below in the description box as always. So definitely check it out. Until we see each other, please stay healthy and happy and happy new year. And you're going to be great this year. Bye!